Yeah, I'm gonna go find my vacuum. I don't know where I put it. Be right back. It is Sweet Taylor Sketches, and let's be honest, are you the artist who gets erasure save shavings all over your desk and has a junk drawer, a junk bag, and endless amounts of supplies that never get used? I'm looking at you right now. I see you. You are this artist. And today, maybe not these so much, or these, but I'm gonna use these, and I'm going to make some art with them. Maybe I can flip it sideways. This, ah, this entire thing is full of just random, random stuff. Ah! Stop it. Random art supplies, and I think this is actually just a bag of pens. But they're colorful pens. There's blue. It's pretty. There's the green. But this is just a really huge collection of crap. I'm gonna make crap out of it. So let's get started. Okay, so now. Okay, there's an eraser. I just need to get my main supplies ready. I'm gonna need to go through all these, it's probably gonna be super fast forwarded, but I really need to find what I'm working with. So, let's find out what's happening. Okay, so I started picking out my art supplies by picking out the stuff that I know I love, but like those gel pens. I really love gel pens. Um, I didn't end up using gel pens for the coloring or anything really except for my Prismacolor color pencils for the coloring because it's my video, I don't really care, and I wanted to use my Prismacolor pencils. I want to get better at them. So I started swatching them. These were the Crayola pencils I used. Um, I didn't use any of the non-erasable ones. I used the red and the blue erasable ones for the sketching, and I used a lot of gel pens for the line art. Um, there are two gel pens that I have that are like exactly the same, but one flows better, so I used the other one for most of my other drawings and stuff. But yeah, this wasn't that hard of a challenge, but you'll see what it turns out like at the end. I like how it turned out. Um, I have a fun video planned for next week, so go over to my Instagram and comment on any of my posts for your profile picture to be drawn. Okay, so I've decided I am going to use some of my Prismacolor pencils. Sorry, the window's open. It's really hot in here. I need to be open. I'm going to use them because I rarely ever use them, and I need to learn how to freaking use them. So I'm going to be using them for, like, shading and maybe some skin tones because I'm not going to get any skin tones out of this. So these are basically just going to be my, like, my line art, maybe, like, my testing out stuff. Like, I'll, like, I'll probably use this the most out of all of them, but I've decided to use my colored pencils, so. Okay, so now I'm starting to draw out my ideas for what I'm actually going to draw, and there was this one where she was sipping noodles, and then there's a one where she was pointing at a piece of paper, and another one where she was looking backwards, and another one where she had her phone held up, and I chose that one because it was the simplest one, and actually I didn't quite mind it. And I really wanted to do the nude one, but there were so many details, and I didn't have very much time to film. So I picked the fourth one, but you'll see what the fourth one looks like once I'm done with the idea, sketching, thumbnailing, whatever you want to call it. Um, I actually really don't like how this one I'm drawing right now came out. But what are you supposed to do about that? It's fine. Um, I didn't actually go with it, so I don't really care. Um, <laughs> But I drew two other ones. This one didn't really turn out that well. 
it's fine. I, I just, it's just not my favorite thing I've ever done. And then I drew another one, and I picked that one because I liked it, the simplicity of it, and as I said, I barely had any time to film. So, yeah, I picked the fourth one that I did. Plus, I, I just really like the pose. I changed the, the pose just a little bit instead of having the phone, like, right next to her face. I had it, like, like a little bit further from her face, so it didn't really look like she was hitting herself. So, yeah, that's what I did. So I've done some ideas on what I want to draw, and I'm kind of in between these two. Don't know which ones I want to draw, or which one I meant. Um, I'm more leaning towards this one, though, because it's a little bit simpler, and I would have a little bit more time to do it, because I have already filmed a lot, which is kind of weird to think. Like, it's- I just- I need a better filming setup, but I am think I'm gonna go with this one, because it'll take me less time to do, and it's still pretty cute, and I can't tell in the screenshot- I don't know, I'll put it right there- if it's a pen or if she's holding her phone, because she's holding it from the side, and there's a police car. Thanks. It's very nice of you to drive by while it's time filming. Ugh. So I started sketching out the main skeleton, if you could even call it that, of the body. And just little blobs, and then forming them, and then forming them. That's how I draw. I don't know. I feel like I should do a drawing tutorial, because you guys are like, Oh, you guys, your style is like so nice, and I'm just like, thanks, I'm winging it. <laughs> And I feel like I should do a tutorial because all of you guys are like, oh my gosh, I wish I could draw like that. I'm like, you can draw like that. You all probably can draw better than me. So you're fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, I switched my scenery because I live in a house with seven people, as I have made known to this channel multiple times before. But that's fine. Um, it's okay. I just moved to the front living room and there was a window there so it didn't really cause me that much trouble and I was barely there for any time at all so it's fine. Um, I was just sketching it and I I really like the way that the sketch looks. I am i don't know what it is, it just it looks really nice and a little bit, a little bit um, mature-ish? I don't know. I don't know what the word for that would be but it just I think it looks nice and I'm proud of it. So um, I used the blue as my first initial sketch and then went over it with the red because it was a little bit of a darker red. It was like a mahogany red. So that's what I did to get my sketch looking so nice. So we're going to try a little bit of a more of a little fun angle. And also I was switching my backgrounds because I had to move from place to place because I live in a house with lots of people so I have other things, other people that interfere with my filming, but that's fine. But, um, we're gonna try this fun angle, and I am going to start lining this. I'm kind of nervous about it, but I'm just gonna skip it because you already saw me draw it anyways, so... So this is how it's coming so far. All right, so I messed up the hand. What is, what is that? This bottom half is perfect. But then I messed up the fingers. So I'm going to improvise. Take a piece of paper and just cover it up. So that's gonna look a little wonky. But I'm not using nice paper, I'm just using an index card. Random piece of paper that I found lying around. So I'm still doing this challenge. So let's cover that up. There we go. It's not the best, but I think that looks a little better than what it did look like before. Also, I finished the jacket. I was thinking of maybe outlining her hair in this gold color, but I don't know. I mean, because I made her skin the color I was going to use for her hair, but if I use the same one, it's going to look weird, so I might just end up using gold to outline her hair, which is actually kind of a cool idea, but I don't know if it's going to work. I found a gray pencil I can outline the collar in, which is going to be great because then it doesn't have to be black, which is very harsh, and I'm trying to make this drawing look a little soft. I'm pretty happy with this drawing so far. Dang motorcycles. The best thing to do in a situation like this is to swatch and see if it works. Okay, now I gotta wait to see if it's gonna work when it dries. This one is a Sharpie marker. It's a little bit darker than the skin, which is okay, because technically the hair is darker than the skin. So, it's fine. Um, but I'm just- I really want to test to see if this gold works, because if it's shiny and shimmery, that's really pretty, and I really want it to work. While I'm waiting for the pen to dry, I'm just gonna fix up the bangs a little bit. Okay, so now that the pen is dry, I'm gonna go over it 
with the colored pencil. Dang it, no. It's not shimmery when you go over it with colored pencil. That was what I was worried about. Not, it doesn't even look shimmery on camera, but like, this is very, very pretty. It's just not picking up on camera anyways, so... <laughs> eh. Oh, not focused. Focus. Focus. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe there's a colored pencil that I could use. Wait a second, let me try and find one. Okay. I'm gonna go with the dark one. I, I feel like I'm gonna regret it, but I have no other choices. So, I'm gonna go with the dark Sharpie. Oh, I'm just, I'm just so scared. I don't wanna... Uh, I don't wanna mess it up. And yes, there's a granola bar here. I was gonna eat that. Should I eat that? Probably. It's dinner time. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I want to use it, though. It's just so dark. Oh, no. You know, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Okay, here we go. One down so far. Doesn't look that bad, does it? Okay, I finished the bangs. I don't like this one, but that's fine. All the other ones look okay, and there are birds chirping so loud. Why do you gotta be so loud? Why do you gotta do that to me? Uh, yeah, I'm talking to you, jerk. <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna add the strands that I usually do in my sort of style in her hair right now with this marker because I feel like it would be too dark and it would kind of make it look like her hair is supposed to be brown. So I'm gonna wait until I go into color to make the hair strands. I'm just gonna wait a few minutes for this to dry. I just finished it. That was my hands, by the way. Um, <laughs> I don't know why she looks so weird. I think it's because I tried to fix the nose off camera. But that's fine. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna wait a few minutes and I'll be right back. I did it, I landed, it's dry. I'm gonna find some colors for the hair and everything else. So, be right back. Alright, I decided I don't want this little line right here, so I'm gonna get rid of it with some white out. Okay, so now I'm gonna start coloring the skin. Oh, I'm just, I feel so good about this piece, except for the nose, and I'm kind of sad about that. And you might be wondering, why is she coloring it in with white? I'm coloring in where I want the highlights of her face to be. I don't even know if we can see that on camera, but it makes it a little bit easier to blend everything and make it smooth. Doesn't that just look so pretty? I don't, I don't know, maybe it's just me. It just looks so much better to me. I don't know. The reason I don't really use color pencils that much is because it covers up the line art and then it's like what's the point of doing line art if it's just gonna get covered up but without the line art it looks unneat so today I'm struggling with that wonderful it's gonna be really hard for the eyebrows since they're gonna be right in the line of fire unless I make the highlight go like this and then have another one go like that I think that's what I want to do to avoid that crisis so yeah, it's gonna be a crisis I love that sound. Alright, so I laid my flat base color down. These are what I use for base color. Base colors, I guess. Um, next I'm gonna go in with my shading color, and then my second shading color, and then my blush, and then back with my base color. That's how I color skin with colored pencils. So if you want a little tutorial, skin is probably the only thing I know how to color with colored pencils. Alright, for shading, I basically lightly scribble in... I know I changed the color, but I'm doing it a little bit lighter, so... If I do it later, then it's going to be the perfect tone, because it's the perfect tone when it's lightly scribbled, but when it's ham dark, it's it's like a completely different skin color, so I tested this out on a different sheet of paper. So, um, just doing that, that's what I do for shading, and then I'll go back with my base color. So now that I laid out my base shading, I'm going to take my original skin color and blend it out. It just makes it look really nice, in my opinion, and again, I'm not an expert. If you any of you guys are color pencil experts, teach me. Teach me the ways. <laughs> but, um... This is how I do it, and I like the way it looks, so let me know if you guys like the way that my shading looks, and the end. So now that the shading is done, I'm going to go in with my blush color, lightly, like I did with my shading color. And you're barely going to be able to see it, hence the word lightly, but um, we're going to be building it up with darker blush colors in just a second. So now that we have the light blush layer laid down, I'm just going to blend it out with my original base color. And after blending, you have this really cute, soft pencil look, and I really like it. So now we're going to go in with the lips. The lips is something I struggle a lot with, because I make them too big all the time. But the first thing you need to do is get the right pencil color for it. And that's not the pencil I'm using, by the way. And because I'm looking for a more natural look, I think I'm going to go with this one, because it's a little bit softer than this, or this. <laughs> so, what you're supposed to do, again, lightly color base and then blend it out. It just makes it look so much better than if you go 
and just like completely color splotch the colors. It's It looks better, trust me, just do it, okay? When did this turn into a color pencil tutorial? Now that you have the base color in, it's gonna look like she has some pretty hairy lips. So now you're gonna go with your base color and blend out the edge. Now it's very important you don't go too far. Of course you can always add more of the right color, but this just gives it a nice blended, nice gradient, and it just looks so nice to me. I just really like it. Doesn't that just look so nice then just being hammed in there? Just like, no, I just shook the entire table. It's fine. And if you want to, you can add a little bit more darkness in the center. It just gives it a little bit more depth. And we're almost done. There you go. That's how you create nice gradiented into the skin, very depthing, depthing, wow, very depthful, depthful, depthfulness, look, <laughs> depthfulness lips, and I love it like that. So if you like it like that too, you know what to do. Now that I'm finished with all the skin, you can kind of see what I mean by the liner gets a little bit covered up. So I'm going to take my pen, and I'm going to redraw in some of the areas that got a little bit covered up, like the eyebrows got way covered up. By the way, those eyebrows looking pretty nice. I don't know why I'm so nervous to start the hair, but I just am. Like, I just walked away for like five minutes contemplating why I'm doing this. But I'm gonna start doing it. So, we have all of our colors for our hair, and I start with the lightest. So, usually I have six, um, six colors, and usually I'd have two lights, two mid-tones, and two shading colors, but this color is really dark, and the amount of pressure will determine the pigmentation. I sound so scientific right now, but that's fine. So, and here we go. I'm so nervous. So, with the hair, if you really want it to be a vibrant color, this is probably the only thing I will go ham on with colored pencils, and that's just the only way I can get it to be vibrant. I want the skin to be pastel, but I don't want the hair to be pastel because that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for bright, popping, colorful. You can, the, can speak. Um, that's the main part of piece. Like I've been trying to practice hair a lot lately, so I really want hair to be a big part of what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna fill the base color in, leaving a highlight on this band and on this band. So I'll be right back. Now that I have the base color in, I'm gonna go with my second light color, which isn't very much different, but this is just adding a little bit more depth to it, it is going around the edges where I didn't color it in all the way, and just filling it in, because it's basically the same color, only a little bit darker, and it just, I don't know what it does, it just makes it look a little better, and I like the way it looks. It just looks a little nicer to me. I do not know why. Okay, now that I've done that, going in with my first shading color. So, it's gonna be a little bit of a drastic change, so you have to be careful where you put it, because Shading is something that if you go a little bit too overboard, everything looks terrible. If, if That's like if you have something and you make it all black, where's the depth? Where is everything else? You can't see anything. There's no difference in the tone, so you have to be a little bit sparingly with shading. And same with highlights. If everything's white, where's the depth? So it's kind of a tricky thing, but you just have to get the handle on it, and then you're good. If you guys want the hair coloring tutorial, I gladly do that because I like the way that I color hair. And I don't know if you guys like the white color hair, but you're gonna have to see it till the end. So, come on, let's go. Get to the end with me. Once I've layered my first shading color in, this is where a lot of people would stop shading. It looks nice, it's okay, but I'm a little extra. I'm gonna add two more colors of shading, because I like that depth. So, basically, that's what I'm gonna do. So, I think it just makes the picture just look so much in more interesting when the shading is so much more deep and you can see it more. And basically with shading, you layer one color, but you go a little bit in, like not as much color, with the next color. And you just keep on doing that until you're satisfied with how it looks, and then you, boom, shaded. Perfect. Well, you know, not perfect, but... <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna keep doing this, and I'll be back. And the lighting has changed. It is almost night, and it's very cloudy outside, so I just turned on the light, faced it that way, and now we have a light, so that's what we're doing. By the way, if you're wondering why there are some circles right by our highlights in a darker color, well, let me just show you. So I make these little circles with a darker color, and then I take the base color, which is in my hand right now, and I blend it out. It just makes the highlight pop so much more than having your base color and then your highlight. It's like shade color, base color, highlight. It's, it's I mean, base color, I don't know what I'm saying. Highlight, and then shadow, and then base color, and it looks so much more crisp to me because it really makes the highlight stand out if it's next to a darker color compared to next to a lighter color, like this yellow. Like, if you had something black, it would look, um, it would look so much more dark if it had white by it instead of having gray by it. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's a good example, but that's what I'm going off of. Just do this to everyone, and it just makes the highlights pop so much. It's, it looks really nice. And then, I'm done with the bangs. Almost. I just gotta take this white 
and smudgy mudgy it just a little bit, not too much, just a little, so that it doesn't look too harsh. And there you go. Doesn't that just look so nice? I know, right? It looks perfect, man. <laughs> but that's how you do it. That's that's how you do it. Um, I don't know. Do you guys want a color pencil tutorial? Because I'm good at color pencils when I'm in the mood for color pencils. When I'm not in the mood for color pencils, I'm not good at color pencils. So I don't know. Do you want one? Tell me. Alright, I'm gonna finish shading the hair, which is basically all the steps I just told you, so I'll be back. So now I have finished drawing the hair. I really like it. I went in with this really dark color and made some hair strands and it just gave it so much more to look at and I really like it like that. So I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the hair turned, how the hair turned out and now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do the shirt. Okay, so the last thing we have to color is the shirt and I have found two colors so far my light color and my dark color, and I don't put as much detail into my shirts and clothing and crap like that as I do into the hair and the skin. So I'm going to pick one more. That looks, that looks about right. So this would be my highlight, and of course I'll use my white. So I'll use four colors for this shirt. Let's get started. I'm not trying to make the shirt super shiny, so I'm going to only highlight areas that need 100% to be highlighted. So I'm not going to add highlight everywhere, not everywhere, but like as much as I did on the skin Then doing on here. So only adding a little, and by the way I don't have a reference up for this picture so I can, I'm, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the exact color of the shirt right, but it's a blue shirt. I'm just going to draw a blue shirt. I don't know if it's going to be the right tone, but that's what I'm going with. Basically the same thing as I do with the skin. Coloring in the base color, going with darker shades, and I'm just going to fill in the rest of this and I'll be back. Since this is the same process as last time, I'm doing the same thing with the sh going in with the shading colors, lightly. And I'll be right back. Ouch. Pfft. Oops. After I go in with the shading color very lightly, it's kind of looking like a two-year-old did it, so I'm going to go back with my base color and smoothen it out. I just love how satisfying colored pencils are. It's ridiculous how satisfying they are. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see the finished product of this, but not in a video form, you can come over to my Instagram. I'll be posting it right as this video ends, so stay tuned for that. Well, go over to my Instagram, not stay tuned. I'm just going to finish blending this out, and then I'll be right back. And now that I've smoothed everything out, I know that the belly is a little bit flat, but in the reference, that's what it looks like. I'm assuming she's on some sort of bed, and it, she's squishing into it. Just that's part of the reference. Ain't my fault. <laughs> but anyways, it's already starting to look a little bit more like clothing, which is satisfying. So I'm going to take my darker color. I'm going to start putting in... A, what the? Mm, I don't know what just fell, but something fell. But I'm going to start putting the darkest shadows in at the deepest parts. So I am going to finish doing that. It's pretty straightforward, you just put it where the shadow was the deepest, you'll be fine. I'm just gonna skip this part. Then going back with this color and blending it out. And after blending it out, it looks really nice. I like how it turned out, I don't know if you guys like it too, but now I just gotta finish doing the collar. And for that, it's super simple. I just gotta find the pencil, oh, it's over here. Right here, we're just gonna take it there we go. You've shaded it. <laughs> it's really simple, really easy. White is probably the easiest thing to shade, for me at least. I don't know if that's true for you, but it is for me. So, if you guys want to see this picture done without it having to pause the video and all that crap, this will be posted on my Instagram, sailor underscore sketches. It is where I post a lot of art that I don't post here. 
a lot of art, like a whole bunch, and it is beating us at this at the follower count at 99 followers. That's a lot of people for like two weeks of being on Instagram. So come to my Instagram. Come on, let's go. Um, yeah. Do you guys like this? Cause I really like this, so I'm excited about it. Oh crap, I forgot to do the phone. You know what, I'm just gonna do that off camera. Be right back. Okay, so basically I just colored it in. Did a little shading, blended it out. That's how I did the cell phone. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see this in just a picture form, no video, head over to my Instagram. Because it was posted like two minutes ago. I'm guessing. So come over there, have some fun with me, this is gonna be great. Goodbye. My guys, this is going to be a long video, isn't it? Yes it is. <laughs> Lot to edit, so see you guys in the next video. Bye!